Um, so I've started three businesses. Okay. One of them is on my own. It's an all natural product line. It's called Motherland Essentials. Mm -hmm. um, so I hand make uh, all natural deodorants, all natural oh, lip okay. balms. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what you see down here. The okay. first two products that I'm putting mm -hmm. on the market is the all natural lip balm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Cape Coast. Hey, thank you very much for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. My only job right now today as you're watching this video is just to connect you. Yes, you watching me, uh, whether you're in Africa right now on the motherland or you're from the diaspora. So I'm just trying to connect you us all together so that you know collectively we can develop whether our race uh, grow you know develop Africa so that we can also stand tall and say yo yeah man I'm an African you know I'm saying yeah that is what you also want right yes that's definitely <laughs> for you to understand who you are exactly so today I'm happy to have with me uh, a beautiful African sister from the diaspora yeah she's been here for six months and then there's a lot she's been doing and i felt uh i needed to share the story with you so that if you're a youth man when i use the word youth man you know i watch a lot of jamaican movies and when they say youth man they're talking about the youth the uh people. yeah the young people you know what i mean so if you're watching this this video is definitely for you so today we're going to talk to my sister alita uh she's going to talk about her journey from the states to Africa to the motherland and then maybe you could learn one or two things and then you would also make up your mind to make the next step in realizing that hey you could live in Africa yeah yeah you could that is another alternative that's the only alternative for you yes if you're watching me I'm mm -hmm. telling you straight to the face that is the only alternative you have to you know staying over there to here Alita Welcome to my YouTube hey, channel. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thanks I'm for good. having me. Yeah, I see you're sipping on something. What is that? Um, this is actually tamarind fruit with um ginger. Okay. So it's very, very good. It's like a citrusy drink, if you will. Okay. Yeah, it's very good for you guys. For we guys, <laughs> you know what? Excuse us, but when you say it's good for us guys in Ghana, the way we understand it, like. It's good for us guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good, it's oh. good, like, it's good, it's good. You understand no, what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> she wouldn't even answer that. I know she understands what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you're in Ghana for the past six months. Yes. Um, how was it like for you to move, to accept yourself, to say, hey, I think I want to move to Africa? How was the journey like for you? Um, well, coming here 15 years ago, I knew I would move here. I just didn't know when. And so, um, the 2020, I just, I don't know, it's like a light bulb came on. I okay. just decided, you know what, this is the year I'm going to just move to mm -hmm. Africa. So, I don't know, I just kind of dropped everything, sold everything, gave well, away a lot of stuff. Well. Um, I bought, bought my uh, flight ticket 40 days out. Mm -hmm. And... Packed up three bags and a book bag, <laughs> yeah. and I was on my way on October the 1st, 2020 is the day I flew out. And, you know, it's a long flight, mm -hmm. but, you know, I was comfortable. Yeah. Um, the most I had it where I got the whole road to myself, yeah. so I kind of slept um, without being, uh, you know, congested. Yeah. Um, and because of COVID, I guess one of the good things is the um, airport was quiet mm -hmm. and slow, you know, it wasn't a lot of no, people. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a lot going on, so... It was just an easy breezy trip for me, but um, the journey has been amazing. Um, since being here, I've started four businesses um, okay. with a few more to come. Um, I've gotten my business residency permit. Okay. So okay, that is the the, the best part that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. But then before that, I mean, you you had to tell your family that hey, I'm moving to Ghana to stay. Well, I'm an international runway. I'm a former international runway model. So my family. Okay, yeah, yeah. say it again. So that again. <laughs> you are looking to the camera and say. Um, okay. I'm a former international runway model. So my family is used to me leaving a country okay. or being somewhere. Okay. So when I tell them I'm going to Africa, it's not a shock to them. They're used to me traveling, traveling. all over the world. You know, with the different careers that I've pursued in mm -hmm. the last 15 years, um, even with college, they used 
they're used to me being away. Okay. You know, I was away for four years. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a shock like it may have been yeah. to most people. Yeah. So it was just more or less, you know, like you living there and yeah. it's like, oh, you living, living. Yeah. Like, so you're not, like you're not coming back. Like yeah. it's not a shock that I'm going. Okay. It's a shock that, shock that I won't be back. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of celebrations that I miss and, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. But um, I don't know. They they kind of took it well. The goal is for them to come here as well. Okay. So I'm coming here to build and get things together, get things in line so, so that them. they can see how feasible, how doable it is mm -hmm. and that they come here they too. Come so, here too. yeah, that's the goal. So it's not like... Um, like living, they won't, yeah, yeah. they'll never see me. Okay. Like, you know, as long mm -hmm. as I do my part, I feel as if they'll eventually yeah. be living here yeah. as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, 15 years you were here. I don't know what brought you here, but then when you moved in in 2020, has there been any difference, any cultural shock? I know you've been here before. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. 50 years till now, there but might I have been some there, difference. But I was only there like two weeks that time. Okay. Yeah, when I was here the first time. So being here six months now, I've definitely got to experience the actual culture. Mm -hmm. um, and so... Um, can, you, can you mention some of the things that... That's like a shock. Like, it's a, like a shock food. or you... This is only a shock for me because most Americans like spicy food. I okay. don't like spicy food. Okay. So the food, every single thing is spicy. I don't care what they give you. They can give you plantains. It's going to be <laughs> spicy. Like, yeah? Yeah. So that was just kind of like uh, I couldn't eat the way I'm used to eating okay. when I first moved here. So mm. that kind of like took a toll on me because you go to two weeks three weeks a month mm. and you're not eating yeah you know a certain yeah. amount of times a day or a mm. certain amount of food and yeah. so you kind of just get your spirit low your energy get low and things mm. like that so that was one of the things i didn't like um okay. also you know ganans y'all kind of think we rich I mean, yeah <laughs> so y'all do a little you know overcharging and yeah. again. but i live here now again so, and so understand. i understand yeah. what a share taxi costs i understand okay. what a pineapple costs okay. i understand what you know fabric would normally go for yeah and so i just kind of keep it moving you know have patience mm -hmm. with each other and yeah i'm i'm learning hey, hey. so um when it comes to ghana as a foreign excuse my language uh definitely you would like to do some businesses and all that but and then you will need a bank account but without a resident permit you can open a bank account in ghana mm -hmm. but she has a bank account and she even has mumu you know, Momo, she will explain it to you. So take us through. How was it like for you to get the resident permit? Um, the resident permit was um, something I had to go to Accra to do, which okay. is like three hours or so from Cape Coast, depending mm -hmm. on the traffic. And um, so, yeah, I just had to give my passport. Mm -hmm. They actually hold on to your passport for a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, and you pay the fee. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You get this, like, identification card. Oh, okay. And then until... Um, maybe a couple weeks later, you will get your passport back with okay. the residency permit oh, stamped okay. in there. Okay. And then you take that to the bank the of bank. choice. and You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, you just <laughs> open up your checkings and your savings. When you do that, you need your residency permit. You mm -hmm. actually need two passport pictures. Okay. And you need a... Um, a letter of residency so okay. wherever you're paying rent wherever mm -hmm. you stay that person will write out that you stay here and okay. you pay that much okay. um and then you fill out some paperwork you know similar to the process in um america and yeah you have mm -hmm. a bank account the only difference is the bank account the bank itself is a opening up a bank account is separate than it is from getting your atm card ATM. it was like two yeah. different processes yeah yeah in america that happens all at the same time the same when you time. go in you come out with your card oh. um it was like one session to open a bank account and do that but then it was like a whole nother session, session just to, to go get. pick up the atm <laughs> card i was like yeah. why y'all have me fill this out when i was here the first time yeah. I back I was like, so yeah so that process was different but yeah. with that bank account you can um you know, use it for your business things. account and yeah. things like that. I also have an LLC. So now I have an official business here in my name. Mm -hmm. And also Momo, which is what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, um, that's that's something you guys taught me. I didn't, We don't yeah. have that in America. <laughs> but you can basically, like I can send him Momo uh, from my phone. phone. 
to and my phone. And I can send someone, maybe I need to pay for something to cry. I can use my Momo to pay for something that's not in the actual town that yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, even at the self-checkout places here, you can yeah. pay for your Momo. You can use your Momo for your groceries yeah. or, you know, just depending on the store that you go in. So it's just kind of like their digital, mm -hmm. you know, convenient way of transferring money around oh, here. Right. And so I have that, um, which you have to have a residency permit, permit as well to, 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 to get, get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. the residency permit helps you move around, you know, yeah. and get some things accomplished. For yeah, sure. great. You need to survive while it's in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You either look for a job to get paid, mm -hmm. or you find something doing yourself yeah, to get paid. You start a business. So, yeah. what are you doing to survive here in Ghana? Um, so I've started three businesses. Okay. One of them is on my own. It's an all-natural product line. It's called Motherland Essentials. Mm -hmm. um, so I hand make uh, all-natural deodorants, all-natural oh, lip okay. balms. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what you see down here. The okay. first two products that I'm putting mm -hmm. on the market is the all-natural lip balm mm -hmm. and the um, all-natural deodorant. Right now I have the, as far as the scents, it'll be green tea wow. and vanilla. Okay. And then for the lip balm, I have vanilla and mint. Mm -hmm. So, um, which I'll is also, this one? Yeah. So I also have coming um, shampoo, conditioner, hand okay. wash, body butter, um, hand soap. I don't know. I have a lot, some candles, oh, okay. uh, powder. So I'm okay. gonna do a lot of things under the Motherland Essential brand. Mm -hmm. um, the other business that I've implemented here. Um, within the six months that I've lived here, it's called uh, Ghana Consultations. Ghana Consultations. And so, yeah, people that desire to live here or desire to start a business here, okay. they have from a the lot diaspora. Of, yeah, they have a lot of questions on the process of mm -hmm. it. Some people just want to know if I like it here, how I'm being treated here. Okay. And so it takes a little more than a YouTube video that they just watch and yeah. kind of get information yeah. for. And it takes more than just sending you a question in your inbox. Hey, yeah. It. So this gives people the opportunity to actually sit down with me and like okay. pick my brain and actually get some answers okay. um, for some of the things that they may want to do here. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'm a real estate agent now. So okay. I sell land. And that's oh. another thing that the <laughs> Ghana consultations come in handy because they will get all of their land questions answered yes, in that same consultation okay. and so that's helping them embark on the journey mm -hmm. of being a landowner mm -hmm. owning their own property living sustainably off of the grid with their own borehole okay. system and water flow and solar panel okay. um, electricity and so yeah this gives people that opportunity to say I know someone on the ground, on the ground you yeah. get to start to build this rapport mm -hmm. with me where I can help you when it comes to finding your architect for your concept plan or okay. your or your site plan I'm okay. sorry or your um the person you need to mm -hmm. actually drill your borehole yeah, or your construction okay. team for building your house. Okay. And so I'm the person you can come to. And even when it comes to needing resources, when mm -hmm. you need black soap, when you need shea butter. Okay. So you just have this person on the ground that kind of gets things done for you for until you. you can get here or you, until you can send somebody from your team. Okay. So that's the second company, the Ghana Consultation. That's why that's important. But then the last one is that I'm a real estate agent and I say a land that's completely legit, completely affordable. Okay. And just want to give people the opportunities to break generational curses because mm -hmm. we don't come from a lineage where we own land. Yeah. I mean, our forefathers and foremothers did, but in our in my lifespan mm -hmm. and, and my mother's as well, they don't come from a history of owning your own land, building your house the way you want to build, yeah. not having an electricity bill, not having a water bill, eating from your garden. Okay. I don't come from that background. Mm -hmm. And so this is me showing people what I'm doing as yeah. far as helping my family, mm -hmm. but what they can also do to change the path of how things been going for generations in their own family. Okay. So... You started a business in Ghana. Has it been successful? Do you think you're... you're, you're are, you, are, you, are you getting there? I think so. And, and, and what are the challenges? With the Praga, I feel like that's not nothing we're reinventing. That's mm -hmm. a wheel that's already turning. Okay. And so we're just jumping in on that wheel. Yeah. Like that's a business. <laughs> like that wheel already moved yeah, yeah. So yes, I think that one is going to be very successful. Mm -hmm. The All Natural Powder Line, I also think will be successful because that's the new movement. Okay. Um, put in, eating the right things, but mm -hmm. also putting the right things on your skin on and, your skin. Okay. you know, in your hair and getting away from all of those chemicals and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the All Natural Product Movement um, with non-natural deodorant 
and you know body butter and things yeah. like that that is the way that people are going into now we're starting mm, okay. to understand what's going on and we're trying to re like change things mm -hmm. so yeah i think that one will be successful and then the gyno consultations is one uh, business is also going to be successful okay. because there's a need for it like when yeah. you're starting a business you want to look at supply and demand mm -hmm. is there a demand for this do people want this want is this, this something yeah. that is missing yeah. um so i'm that bridge that gap from america to, to Ghana, Ghana and as far as providing connections and resources to mm. for relocating okay. so that's going to be big I think because everybody is trying to leave yeah. they're trying to move <laughs> and buy land like yeah. that's a new wave I presume that it will be it very will be successful, successful. Yeah. all right beautiful so we all presume that this business uh, that she has started will be very very successful so if you're watching this and then you want to move to the motherland especially because we are in ghana so we will talk more about ghana if you want to move here or start if a you business. even want to sorry to cut you off even if you want to just tour here okay i have a situation where i'll be setting up tours for you guys to be able to come here with a package deal you have mm -hmm. your flight your hotel a tour guide a bus that takes yeah. you around from different uh tour sites yeah. Um, and so you wouldn't have to do anything but pay one fee, get on your flight and get mm -hmm. here and we'll take care of the rest. Take so the even rest. if you just want to come see what it's about, come fill it out for about 10 days. That is something you should also contact me about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So like she has said everything, um, you want to move here, do all the things that she's made mention of, then she's the right person to talk to. This is, this is what I basically want to do to connect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So she's into something i'm into something you're into something let's connect and learn and then develop africa the way we want it now um there are other guys like yourself who are still stuck over there i'm not dissing anybody but i'm just using the word mm -hmm. they are stuck over there they wish they could move mm -hmm. but they can't move just a message to the sisters especially because you're a sister mm -hmm. the sisters watching you right now what are you telling them I would tell um, the ladies to just stay focused, um, again, sit down and map out your plan, and then just work that plan. Take one thing at a time, one day at a time, start making a checklist and checking things off your list, and then last but not least, just do it. Don't try to make it perfect. Don't like say, oh, I need this amount of money. Mm -hmm. I want to have this in place. Like, don't worry about all that. You have to let the most high lead and you just do your part. So if he's putting it on your heart to move and leave, you're never going to have the perfect moment. You're never going to, you know, have it where everything is right for it. So you just have to do it. And then he'll start to align the things that you need and put things in your path for you to make it to the next day. So ain't nothing to it but to do it <laughs> <laughs> all right so um she said everything i hope you're advised enough so i uh, want to talk about her product all natural deodorant yeah and then we have the all natural lip balm so if if you are in ghana already and then you need to get any of this you know how to use it right <laughs> so um her email address will be in the description or check it out on YouTube. Just send her a message that hey, um, Alita, I need one of this or I need one of that. All right, and then we all help support ourselves. So thank you very much for checking us out. Uh, it's been wonderful having you here. Thank you. And there will be more videos coming up. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all yeah. hear them right? Yeah. <laughs> more videos. All right. Bless it.